I'm a member of the Lac de Flambeau Band of Lake Superior Ojibwa. Uh, my Indian name is Bindigain Gijik Giwita Kamikunan. Magazinidodem, Eagle is my clan. This project is very unique in that it's what, what began at the Tim and Mink site as an archaeological excavation project at a prehistoric site has now gone in, in full circle in that now we're constructing visible evidence, constructing a historic Ojibwa structure. It has so many uses in a traditional culture of long ago. You know, you, the Wigwasi Matik, they made everything from uh, winnowing baskets to uh, maple syrup gathering baskets, macaques, wild rice storage baskets. They made their wigwams, they made their jaman, the birch bark canoe, they made cradle boards. So just about all the important facets of Ojibwa life. Uh, birch bark was a pretty in integral part of their life. We roll it up now. Basswood. Yep. Young basswood. If we leave that out in the water for for about three weeks, this will separate here into about into about seven or eight really fine layers. If this broke off here, what you wanted, what you'd want to do is start in this one again and leave about that much sticking out, which you'd wrap under here or tuck back into this holder. You see, because this is going to dry out and it's going to get very, very stiff. It's not going to pop out later on. So we're, we're got getting it done. It's going to be a long, long process. Mean one seam and we're not done. What I do is I'll go around and. Collect this pitch like this. Mm -hmm. See how sticky this is? Well, when you heat this up, this turns into an amber color, just the way it is right here. You can spread it with your thumb and move it around and everything, but it sets up real fast. And it's a real good sealant. This is to hold the bark down. This is to put, this is to keep it so the wind doesn't get up underneath there, okay? Uh, the wigwam that we constructed here uh, is just outstanding. I think it's, without a doubt, it's probably one of the best lodges that I've ever put up. You can kind of get the concept by reading it in books and stuff like that, but in actually, too, looking at the house, it doesn't really look like it's that big of a deal, but actually going out and cutting down the trees and getting, getting the bark and, 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 and uh, taking all the bark off of the roots, getting the roots, all that, yeah, was very time consuming and gives you an appreciation of, of how they had to do things before modern technology. It's to maybe get a sense of appreciation for what that lodge represents. It would be hard for them to understand how much work it took to build it, but nevertheless, when they look at it, I want them to, to, wanted them to see something, something of beauty. You know, we go out and we gather the, we gather the bark, we gather the wee goop, and, and uh, a couple days later, you have a very livable structure, something that no doubt, uh, my Ojibwe ancestors were, were living in quite possibly for thousands and thousands of years.